back again with a quick live live stream um i'm sorry guys this time i i did come on a bit late so i know i may not get as many people but regardless today the topic for today is going to be should men get fat removal surgery because there's there's been this like viral clip of uh i think um a rapper named bandman kevo and he did um get his he said he was working out right but then like many people he was he he had a very hard time removing getting rid of the belly fat as you guys know if you're on your weight loss journey fat loss journey as we work out go to the gym do the cardio diet we may lose fat elsewhere but the the stomach area the belly area the tummy area takes longer for most people to lose the fat so he said he went and did the fat removal surgery liposuction and and he claims many celebrities do it especially in the u.s or hollywood you know how you see movie stars and they're really in shape because movie stars do do change their bodies whether they work out whether it's a boxing uh, a fighting movie or something if they, they gotta get in shape but people like the rock if you guys know the the, the rock is really always in shape because he actually lifts weights all the time so the rock is usually in good shape he actually really inspires me and one of the reasons i want to get my own gym is because of the rock he really inspires me because he really works out um he really works out hard right the rock he inspires me so guys, if you're just coming in, feel free to comment down below, type in the chat. If you have any fitness questions, then I'll answer your question. But today I'm just going to talk about why, in my opinion, men should not get fat removal surgery, which is liposuction where you go and they remove all the fat from your, from your stomach area. Or oh, some people even just, people who are really overweight, instead of working out, they just choose to go under the knife and then get the surgery and remove their fat. Um, I just wanted to share my opinion. Now, whether you choose to get the fat removal surgery or not, I don't really care. It's your choice. It's your money. But I just wanted to to say why I personally, if I was to choose, I wouldn't give my um, clients or the people who follow me advice not to get the the you know the the surgery. All right, so. If you're in here, if you if you have any questions, just you know comment down below. If you have any um, any fitness questions, I'll answer your question down below. You can put it in the chat. But for now, I'm gonna be just talking about why I think men should not have fat removal surgery. So number one, right? I think it it's a it's if it's not uh, medical, let's say the doctors if it's not medical and let's say you go to the doctors didn't tell you to get the surgery you shouldn't get it because it's for me it's kind of like laziness you know people don't want to work out i know it's hard people love to eat but for some reason they don't want to work out and burn the calories they eat so for me surgery for men especially because women usually do the liposuction or fat removal surgery where they re usually remove the fat from around their belly area or back and then the doctors put them in their butts to get the big butt right they call the bbl right so for me men shouldn't get the the fat, fat removal surgery because it's a form of laziness number two why i wouldn't get the i wouldn't advise anyone to get the fat removal surgery is because just because you get the fat removal surgery, it doesn't mean that's it. You still got to work out and maintain it because, listen, if you get the fat removal surgery, but your, mm, let's say, uh, your diet hasn't changed, you're not working out, you're going to gain all that fat back. It's just going to be a matter of time. But if, you're, if your habits don't change, you still eat like crazy, you don't eat good, you don't work out, you're not active. You get the surgery you still keep the same old habits you're gonna get gain all the fight back that you had so it's a waste of time i would rather you build the habit of going to the gym working out walk run jog swim whatever kind of activity you want to do 
and then improve your diet because now this is going to be a lifestyle that you can carry on to the rest of your life. But just because you get the surgery, the fat removal surgery, doesn't mean that's going to be the end of the world and you're just going to be in shape forever. Because uh, unless you have the money, that means you get the fat removal surgery, you gain the weight back after, let's say, 6 or 12 months, depending on how much you eat, right? Again, you go back to another, for another surgery, you eat, you gain the weight back, you go for another surgery, like how long are you going to do that? So for me, I would rather you um, you learn the habits, the lifestyle habits of eating right, going to the gym, working out, being active, and just maintaining well, like, a well-balanced diet, well-balanced life, active life. So that's the second reason why I wouldn't want people to get the men, especially to get the fat removal surgery, because it doesn't mean you fixed your weight loss, fat loss issues. It just means you found a quick way out. But if you don't change your habits of working out, of staying active and eating right, you're always going to gain the weight back. And then the final thing is, is that weight, it's expensive. I mean, Unless you have all the money in the world, but it's more expensive, really, to get the surgery. Plus, unless you're going to keep, plus, unless you're going to do it one time and then you work out. But but I believe, personally, I believe by the time someone decides to get a fat removal surgery, it's me, it just means that they'll fail to lose weight the natural way or the way of really hard work where you work out and eat the right way. So for me... I just believe it's a waste of money. I would rather you invest that money in maybe getting a trainer. Um, you know, if you really have that much money, maybe hire a chef to make you some good, you know, healthy foods. All right. Uh, get a gym membership, hire a coach to train you, something, pay for Zumba classes, pay for dancing classes, pay for boxing classes, whatever. You can use that money and pay, pay, to actually put in the work and improve your your health rather than getting the surgery the only way i would encourage people to uh men to get any fat removal surgery it wouldn't even be fat removal surgery it would be maybe skin removal surgery because some people who are like 300 pounds 400 pounds people who are excessively overweight obese so usually when they lose weight, they get that loose skin. So some people can go get the loose skin removed, right? But getting surgery because you want you want to remove the fat doesn't solve your fat loss issues. It's just a small, how do I, it's, it's let, let's say it's just like uh, going to a McDonald's. It's a drive-thru. You get your food quick, but it doesn't mean you're going to have food for the rest of the week. It's just a quick meal. But that means you have to gonna have, you're gonna have to keep coming back to the McDonald's every time you're hungry because you don't want to go home and make meals for the week. That's the way I look at it. It's a quick fix, but doesn't fix your issues, your fat issues, or weight loss issues, your health issues for the long run. You know, because you're gonna go gain the weight back. Because usually, people who get the fat removal surgery haven't learned to get the the haven't learned the habits and the um the lifestyle they haven't got in the the, the 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 hard work it takes to actually lose weight the natural way all right let's say someone has a question uh c dub thank you for watching me he says good information what's your recommendation for a diet for an endomorph to lose the belly fat so c dub we are all different okay we may be an endomorphs but we have different lives and what do i mean by that what I mean is that there's no specific diet, but all you got to do is to make sure you are in a caloric deficit. Let's say when you start to build, when you start your weight loss journey, you're eating 3000 calories. Let's say you keep tracking because you got to track at some point. You got to know how much you eat, maybe how much of carbohydrates you eat, how much fats, how much protein. So those are a few things. I think I have a video where I break down how you can get to know how many calories and carbohydrates protein and fats so let's say you start with 3000 calories before you work out right it means when you start to work out you may have to bring that down to 2700 calories you don't want to go from 3000 to 1000 you want to reduce it to create a caloric deficit 
So what that means is that your body is gonna is gonna have a deficit in calories, but at the same time, because you're gonna be working out, you're gonna increase even the caloric deficit more. That means your body is gonna tap into your fat storage to use your fats as energy to make up for the extra 300 calories you don't eat anymore. All right, so that's number one. You have to be in a caloric deficit, no matter what diet. Now for me, the diet I recommend, right? Since you said recommendation. So the diet I would recommend for you, which works for me, it's easy for me. So let's say I, I, I keep my protein the same. Protein is always constant. It's easy for me. This is the easiest way for me. Protein, I'm a, let's say I eat 200 grams of protein every day. Right. So what I do, I play with my carbs and my fats. I also usually keep the fats the same. I can be maybe 50. Depends how much you weigh, but I can eat my fats from 50 grams to 60 grams, anywhere between there. So I play with my carbs. Right. So on the days I work out, I go to the gym and do cardio. I may eat maybe around 180 to maybe 200 grams of carbs. Right. On the days I work out. And then on the days I don't work out, let's say I just take a walk, I'm at work, I'm not doing any cardio, I'm not going to the gym. On the days I don't work out, I'm still active because I do my 10,000 steps outside the, the, the neighborhood I walk. If you guys have a bike, you can take a bike ride, whatever, you want to stay active. But then on the days I don't go to the gym, those are the days I count as days off. Those are the days I bring down my carbohydrates down. I could go from maybe 100 to 120 when I'm just starting my weight loss journey. So as I'm deeper into my weight loss journey, like let's say three months or, or four months, it can even be like from like 80 grams. But the point is on the days I don't work out, my carbohydrates just go down a little bit because I didn't, I, the body doesn't need as much energy because I'm not working out, I'm not going to the gym and I'm gonna be active. So I don't need as many calories. So see that, that's how I do it. I keep my protein the same, Fats a little bit. So I do like protein 50%. I do in percentages. Protein 50%. Uh, fats can be 20%. Then carbs can be 30%, which is together is 100%. But for the carbohydrates, I play with them. On the days I work out, I increase. On the days I don't work out, I, re I, re re I reduce. Let's say in the first month of my weight loss, right? And then as a, the reason I want to go slow, reduce slowly is because I still lift weights. I don't, when you, when your calories are really low, you know, you, you're known as energetic. So you may not be able to lift as many weights, as much weight as possible. And then you don't want to lose muscle just because you're trying to lose fat. Because the difference between trying to lose fat and, and maintaining your muscle, or if you just don't want to lose weight in general, you can just run them. You see how marathon runners are really skinny compared to people like Usain Bolt who run 100 meters. That's really muscular because they have different workouts. So if you want to maintain muscle, but just lose the fat, you don't want to drop your calories too low, but you also you want to keep lifting weights. That's why on the days I lift weights, I increase my, my carbohydrates to have that energy, extra energy for the for, to, for uh, lifting weights. All right. So see that I hope that helps you. I play with my carbohydrates. The fats and the protein usually remain the same to make it easy for me. Because usually, because carbohydrates are the main source of energy. That's why I play with those, right? I play with those. That's what works for me. You can try it and see if it works for you. Because I also didn't wake up one day and found the, the magic the magic pill. No, I had to find out which portions, what works for me, what do I like to eat, what, what's easy for me, how much cardio I should do on which day when. So it's a try and error. That's why I don't uh, recommend uh, fat removal surgery for men because then you get to miss out on learning your body and how your body responds to different foods. Let's say you get fat removal surgery and then you, you still eat fries every day. You still eat the the sugary snacks like like uh, like uh, um cakes you know candy you drink all the soda in the world you're gonna gain the weight back and then you waste all your money trying to go for a surgery to remove the fat removal surgery so that's why i don't you know recommend it and that's why i made this you know stream just to talk about that but thank you for your question because so many people ask what that do you recommend i recommend just to know your calories, to know the macros, play with them, but just make sure on the days you don't work out, remember your body doesn't need as much energy, so you shouldn't eat as much, okay? 
if you know you're going to spend the whole day home, why should you eat like someone who's going to work out on that same day and be outside and, and enjoy uh, the outside scenery? Your body's move. If your body's not going to move as much, you don't need as much energy. All you got to do is eat the right foods, increase your vegetables to keep you fuller, high protein to keep you fuller, drink more water to keep you fuller. It's just that it so happens when you're not active, you get hungry as well. You know what I mean? Like when you're just sitting at home, chilling, it so happens that those are times you feel hungry because your, your, your body's bored. So it's like, I want to eat, 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 eat. That's why it's also good to be active outside doing things because your body's not thinking about food all the time. So that means you won't eat as much. You know, it's just a mental thing, but yeah. So CDAP says your information is very helpful and very much appreci appreciated. Enjoy your videos. Thank you, CDAP, for subscribing and uh, for the good questions. But yeah, guys, I don't want to keep this so long. I just wanted to come and talk about why I don't, I wouldn't recommend fat removal surgery for men or liposuction. And again, my reasons are it just proves you're lazy. And number two, wastage of money. And number three, just because you get the fat removal surgery doesn't mean you won't gain the weight back. So if you don't learn the habits of losing weight, of staying healthy, like working out, eating the right way, if you don't, if you don't learn the discipline it takes and the hard work, you're always going to gain the weight back. And that means you may have to go back for another surgery years down the road. So unless you have all the money in thousands of dollars, you're going to keep doing this and it won't be good. The only surgery I would recommend is for, um, if you really want to do it and you have the money, I can't judge you, do your thing. You know, we're all different. That's all I got to say. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. I'll see you guys next Sunday. I'll try to stream as early as possible. All right. Peace. Comment down below your questions. I'll be able to come in the comments and answer questions. And then give me topics for the next stream for the next weekend. All right. Peace, y'all.